folks there, here's whatever guy, because whatever me. And do you folks want to know about this uh, industrial hemp CBD flower that I got and why I think it's like drinking in duels? Y'all stick around and I'll tell you some more about that. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and stick around the end, I'll tell you, hey, you can win yourself a brand new uh, Rift brand Delta 8 syringe from over at Great CBD Shop. These were actually a buy one, get one free. Um, but they're not a buy one, get one free now. My plan was to, you know, as a buy one, get one free, would get these. Uh, use my code whatever for 15 percent off and then send them out to you um, but there's not a buy one get one free on these anymore they have other buy one get one freeze like cake brand and some other some other places uh down at great cbd shop you can check the link for that down in the description but barring that uh like i said they're not having a buy one get one free of this anymore so on september 6th at 12 noon i'm gonna go ahead and give two of these away to uh, a lucky winner so you guys click that link down in the description and uh check that out as you guys know, I shoot videos five or six days a week uh, on my other channel, the whatever guy. Uh, but apparently I've gotten another strike over there. I am struck for 14 days, um, one more strike, and basically they're going to uh, uh, eliminate my channel all the way around. It sucks. You know, I've got about 1,500 subscribers over there um, and about 14 here. Um, it really sucks to be, uh, you know, cranking up all that time. Really, the video that was up that I got struck on has been up for four or five months. Um, it's like, you know, it's like YouTube, the algorithm picks it up later. And of course, me being a dumbass and not knowing as much about, uh, you know, videos as I did today as I did, you know, as to, I know more about videos today than I knew six or eight months ago. Uh, some of those videos are getting struck, man. So um, it looks like if I get another strike in the next, you know, within 90 days or something like that, um, you know, that channel's dead. So I'm going to start posting a lot more over here. Um, I just posted this morning. Uh, the video of the uh, how to make you know real money fast. I mean, for you know you guys trolling the internet and looking for ways to find money, um, if you're willing to work, man, uh, cleaning condos is a really good way to uh, pick up some money on the weekends, especially on the weekends. Um, I, I meant to tell you guys uh, about my wife, my girl's paycheck. Um, she actually cleaned. I think it was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, two units a day, and then obviously you saw uh, Saturday we cleaned three together, and then obviously Sunday you saw that we cleaned those three together then too and she made it over a thousand dollars um for those five days of work and she really wasn't stressed out pushed out or neither one of us were actually um we could have done more uh but it, so it just goes to show you if you guys are in a vacation area low barrier of entry um a real way to make money fast i mean those two days saturday and sunday we probably made seven hundred dollars uh total um you know just working those couple of days and she got paid on monday for what she did uh, the previous week there was no holding up a week and for, for those of you who don't know man there's a lot of jobs out there right now that you can find uh if you're just willing to work and do a little bit of hustle and like i said uh the added benefit of us working together and kind of got a little system going uh we can actually clean uh units pretty good uh relatively good um what we consider really good uh you know, compared to what other people are cleaning and we do it in a relatively uh you know quick fashion and we do a pretty good job so um, the owner that she works for is actually somebody that has stood up for her before. Um, so again, we drive a little bit further to go, uh, to clean these condos than we would say if we had to, you know, go down just to the bar or something, but because, uh, she appreciates the owner of the company and the fact that he's willing to stand behind his employees and stuff like that and stand up for his employees. Um, that's a rare thing that you find in this, you know, in any industry for that matter. Um, so we choose to drive a little bit further over there to clean those condos. And, and obviously make uh, decent money at it. And those jobs, man, are everywhere. If you were to get on Craigslist gigs, um, and if you're in a vacation area along the coast, especially in Florida, uh, probably California, places like that, you can look up vacation rental property owners and you can, or companies, and you can call them up and find out who are they contracting out to their cleaners and do their cleaners need help. Uh, you could basically shop yourself around, man. If you, if you were a, a good cleaner yourself or a, a team, you could shop yourself around uh, to those places because they're always requiring work and, and it's just a it's a it's a high turnover and then the thing is about it's like they're not standing on top of you so like if you go if you do a good job and you show up for work uh, they just they give you the units and let you go man you know you may go through that week period of where they're testing you out to see if you're going to show up for work and all that but once you show up for work and you do a good job because those inspectors do come in and check those you know, those places after the fact um, not saying that we don't ever get gigs or anything like that, but but for the majority of the time, you know, that those inspectors know when they go into a building that, that she and I have cleaned, uh, that, that it's done a good job. And then they do, you know, they go in through the, the, the cursory inspection. But the point is, is once, you know, once that word gets out that you're doing a good job, they'll throw more uh, units on you. Because like I said, um, Saturdays and Sundays are the big days. And 
uh, you can, you know, they, they check out at 10 and they're, and they're checking in at four. And, and a lot of times these companies got 80, 90 of these places clean and they're just, they just don't have the time to clean them or the personnel to clean them, man. So you can make a lot of money if you're willing to hustle uh, doing that. So you guys go check that video out. I, I posted it this morning. Uh, this video today is about some uh, CBD hemp flower that I actually got from Industrial Hemp Farms. I actually got this uh, a while back. I got a card from them. Um, and I'll, I'll try to put the link for them down in the description if I can. Um, but the deal is, is like, uh, you know, I love, um, flour. Like, you know, for those of you that don't know my journey, um, I've been a, a long time, uh, marijuana smoker you know, most of my life, uh, even through the, you know, throughout the military and stuff like that. And then I got this minor marijuana charge. Uh, I got pulled over for a uh, busted headlight or something. And then they dug around in my truck and found a minor amount of marijuana that I had even forgot. Uh, that I had in the truck, and, I, and, it, and that caused me to get a catalyst of events that caused me to get a patch, and then led me to Delta 8, and then obviously uh, Delta 10, which we'll do some reviews on uh, probably tomorrow. But the, the point is, is that out of the 250 videos that I have over at the whatever guy, uh, which I don't have as many over here, um, but the, the deal is, is like, um, you know, for us long-time smokers and those uh, those of us that come to Delta 8 and Delta 10, when somebody sends me out a just a regular CBD hemp flower, um, for me, it's like drinking an O'Doul's. And, and for those of you that don't know what O'Doul's is, O'Doul's is like a non-alcoholic beverage. It tastes like a beer, but it's, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. And for me, it's like, uh, in, in a lot of ways, uh, I would never drink an O'Doul's because it's like, I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right to me. And a lot of times when I get these, uh, it's the same thing with the CBD hemp flower. Like I'm looking at this flower right here and I know this is a really good flower. So I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the detail of it, but this is a really good bud, man. And, and if you look close, like for those of us that are long-time marijuana use, there's red hairs in this bud right here. But, you know, if I'm if I go out and smoke it or I go out and ingest it in any way, um, I'm not going to get any psych, you know, psychedelic effects of it. So um, someone like me that, that reviews uh, Delta 8 products, Delta 10 products, and obviously cannabis products in the future, uh, for me, smoking CBD hemp flour is like, um, you know, like drinking it with duels. And it's just, it's, for me, it's like a waste of time because I'm not going to get the full effects uh, or the psycho, you know, the psycho psychosis effects that, that I want. Um, I would probably get a lot of medical benefits out of this. Um, there, there's probably uh, some calming effects and stuff like that. But for those of us that come to Delta 8, uh, and, and even cannabis, a lot of times we come through to Delta 8 through distillate because, as I said before, uh, dis, you know, Delta 8 is found in such minute amounts of the hemp plant that they have to extract it. So any flower we would get would either be dipped or sprayed. Um, and so the majority of us come to Delta 8 through distillate, which means that we are hitting a more pure form uh, than we would be hitting if we were, say, hitting, um, you know, just the flower of Delta 8, which there is no natural flower of Delta 8. Like I said, you have to extract it, and our flower would have to be dipped. So moving forward to that, when I get CD hemp flower, this is what the product would be before they dipped it in Delta 8. Um, and this would also obviously be the same product if, uh, you know, they, you know, come off a cannabis plant and they extracted all the THC out of it. For those of us that, that smoke Delta 8, smoke Delta 10, smoke um, or ingest any type of Delta 8, Delta 10 cannabis or anything like that, uh, going over to a CBD hemp flower would really just be a um, like drinking in a duel would be a, be a waste of time. Um, all in all, this is a beautiful flower, man. Uh, great smell to it. And like I said, I've actually puffed some of this. Uh, but again, um, I've got, uh, you know, Delta 8 flower, uh, like I'll show you guys here. Um, I've got several bottles of Delta 8 flower, several different strands, and it all looks the same. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much a uh, different bud uh, design here. But it's basically that flower uh, that you see here, which, you know, this one's a little bit darker, different strains, whatever the case is. But the point is, is this has been dipped in Delta 8 and this hasn't. And, and this, you know, this is going to give me some effect as opposed to this. So uh, for me, uh, you know, the CBD hemp flower is just a waste of time all the way around. Uh, I wish uh, a lot of times, um, you know, I don't mind putting it out there and putting it on the video for, you know, for you guys to see. But for me to review uh, this Delta 8 or give this a proper review uh, would be a waste of time for me because, like I said, um, my head is is full of Delta 8. It's like I've got the Delta 8 and Delta 10 in my system, um, and I wouldn't be giving this the proper, uh, you know, credit that it deserves um, as opposed to someone else that doesn't do uh, Delta 8, Delta 10 cannabis or anything like that. Now, I'm not going to lie to you about it. I enjoy 
the opening of the product. I enjoy the smelling of the product. I enjoy actually breaking up and rolling one once in a while. But the fact of the matter is, um, I, I don't drink no duels, and so I'm you know I'm wasting my time with the whole CBD and product review. All right, folks, this is whatever got signing off. Now I told you guys if you stick around the end, uh, hit that like notification, hit the bell notification, hit that subscribe button because, like I said, this is a new channel. Uh, not like my other channel where I got 1,500 subscribers and I might lose it. Uh, but either way, uh, you guys, I'm still going to give this uh, on uh, September 6th. I'm going to give this away. You guys check it out. I'll put the link for a uh, great CD shop down in the description. Don't forget, buy Delta has a, uh, another sale. I think it's uh, $8 cards or $10 cards. You guys go over there and check it out. And uh, hopefully you guys will find me over here and and we can just continue on with the with the YouTube. All right, man. Everybody's having a great day. I hope uh, hope everybody's having a great day. And I will try to do a Mellow Fellow Delta Ten uh, cart review sometime this afternoon or tomorrow. Love you guys. See ya.